Hello students. Uh, today we are going to see some important uh, basics of uh, molecular docking and uh, what softwares and the tools uh, are there that are necessary to understand uh, before uh, molecular docking. So I have this uh, Discovery Studio application and this uh, molecular docking software. Here I am using uh, Autodoc and uh, I am going to show you a few basic tools in it. So while opening this application it shows uh, this kind of window. It takes some time for the loading. Along with this uh, Autodoc software, you need Discovery Studio software also. There are uh, mainly three stages involved in this uh, molecular docking. So we will see one by one. Okay, now this. Uh, application is open yes so so this is a molecular uh, docking platform so here it is a auto dock tool basically it is a python molecule viewer in that you have to click on this tab that is a auto dock tool so after clicking that tab it will highlight certain uh, further tab like a ligand flexible residue grid docking run and analyze so let us check the options it contains so there is a file contain molecule then a read session so in the read molecule <coughs> So if you want to load the molecule in it, in this application, if you want to load a molecule, then you have to click on read molecule. Say for example, there is a 4A is a molecule that previously I performed this application. So for here, I'm going to show you that how it uh, represents. So look at this is a molecule that I here download uh, that are here loaded in this application so after that there is one important tab called as a preference so preference means while opening every uh, tool you will uh, uh, direct it at a particular file location so you have to first of all set the file location so where you are going to perform these actions or where your uh, the file which are generated that will get stored at particular folder that path you have to set here so so here it is um, we have to set a path so you may click so called as a set so here you have to close it then open folder so say for example you have to create a file in this document then click on document then just click on this uh, say for example Schrodinger here if you want to perform the uh, or store the uh, files then you have to copy paste this uh, path so you have to just put control c and you have to paste their location and click on the set so now whenever you are open uh, any file any tab will direct that 
tab or the file location will be directed toward this location that you have set okay and at the last there is an option called as here it is dismiss you have to click okay now it has been set so again there is an exit option is also there if you want to close this application then <coughs> then here there is a ligand then in the ligand ligand means a our drug molecule which has to be bind or which will going to be docked in a particular receptor pocket so that uh, you have to design this uh, uh, ligand by using a camera application so here you can so here you can draw any structure say for example i am going to draw this any structure okay so after drawing this structure you have to go at save as okay after clicking on save as you have to give the any name for example uh, k1 then you have to so save this file as either sk2 or uh, either uh, cdx any format so here i am going to save this file as a mole and uh, i am going to save this file at my document that's showing here and here it will be the save okay yes so i uh, prepare a structure i design a structure for which i want to see the docking i want to see the paste score for my ligand so that has been drawn in uh, camera and let us i want to open that structure so i want to click on the ligand then input then click on open and here here it is showing that uh, pdbqt files so here uh, only pdb kind of files are required without that uh, that a uh, file is not uh, uh, readable so if i click on mole then mole but it is a mole and two it is mentioned so mole two kind of files are required again pdb pdb qt and like this if i click all file then all files will be open but only these four type of files are accessible in this application so it is necessary to save our file as save as here it is sk2 and it is a mole okay so we have to save this file either in the mode or either in a pdb format so how to convert this our sk2 file into the pdb format i am going to show you here so just uh, um, minimize this and then you have to be open this uh, discovery studio client application so here you can easily edit and convert and save as your uh, ligand file or your uh, um, protein molecule file easily okay so this uh, discovery studio visualizer is now open here it takes a uh, few seconds so now so here uh, we have to uh, uh, convert the our file that is sk2 to pdb format because only four type of formats are uh, uh, only four types of uh, formats are accessible to the autodoc and uh, here i am going to click on uh, uh, file then uh, click on open so you have to give a path yes now 
here it is a stored injection now it is a k1 was the structure of a ligand that i want to convert into the pdp format so that it can be accessible to the autodoc tool so now click on open okay so it is open then click on graphics then look at this structure is open over here okay so here you can uh, um, prepare this ligand also there is a process called as a ligand pro uh, preparation so you can do either over here or you can edit this molecule in auto dock also basically molecular docking is a consist of a three major step first one is a uh, ligand preparation second one is a macromolecule preparation that is called as a protein preparation and third one is a uh, to run the um, docking program and at a fast at, uh, at the last stage it is a uh, visualization of your results so these are the main steps in one so here we have to convert this file so click on file then go on save as okay so the same schrodinger folder is open so here these discovery studio make available two kinds of uh, these important file format that has to be saved first is uh, this uh, pdb file format that is a protein data bank file then mol2 type of file or ds type of file can be uh, saved so here i will prefer this a uh, protein data bank file so click over here and put it save so now this file is saved let us check whether this file is uh, accessible in autodoc so here i open this autodoc then then this ligand then this input and we have to click on open so now there is a pdb file is there now this k1 is look at this this k1 is get converted in pdb format okay you have to just open it okay and this previous one we can delete it okay now this is my ligand molecule so here it is saved okay so how to um, um, import the um, ligand file in autodoc that here we learn about that and uh, and the further we will go for the preparation of this ligand so for the ligand you can set a torsion tree for that you have to click detect torsion then you have to go for choose torsion you can select the number of torsion over here so number of rotatable bonds so here it has been detected that there are the four rotatable bonds so this each color represents so there is a magenta color so that the magenta color indicates that these bonds are non rotatable so this kind of information is uh, easily understand easily studied by this uh, autodoc application so green bond indicate these are the rotatable okay so we can click on done then we can click it on detect torsion so it detects the torsion and the detection root is get uh, highlighted by this uh, small sphere then uh, aromatic carbon so we can click on aromatic carbon so enter the angle in degree so it is by default it is being set 7.5 we have to just click on ok and important thing is that is save as pdbqt so now we will save this as a k1 same folder and pdbqt file and just save it 
so now uh, we finally prepare the ligand in the next video we will see the preparation of protein thank you thank you very much